I picked the flower that has like the things that look like Vietnamese to me on there. You're the closest one to Vietnamese in that lineup right now. <laughs> Are you Vietnamese? Yes, I am. What can I say? You don't even know if that's Vietnamese yet. No, no, I'm confident now. I'm thinking about it. I've seen this on the menu somewhere. <laughs> Hello. Hi, my name is Jake. I'm a bartender. I'm 27 years old. I'm Zuzette. I sell weed and weed accessories. I'm Nick. I'm 23. What do you do? Uh, I'm actually, I'm a dental assistant. I want to be a tattoo artist. <laughs> That's the goal at the end of the day. Do you give people tattoos? Yeah, I started doing tattoos in college, in the dorms. Do you have any tattoos? That's a no for me. I grew up in a religious background, so it's more a little bit of a taboo. I started getting tattoos when I was like 16. I get them just as an expression of like art. Today you're gonna match tattoo to person. Nice. I want you to go through these, describe what you're seeing. Tiger on the calf. It's like a chubby tiger. Whoever got this tiger, they should hit me up because we should be friends. I actually used to be really overweight, so I like this. There's like a scar in it, it looks like. So someone maybe older, definitely a guy I'm feeling as well. There's kind of like the Mike Tyson tattoo on the face of the tiger, it kind of looks like. We got like a rose. I don't even know what's on the top, but it looks very misspelled. Ooh, okay, don't know this language. I think it's Vietnamese. It'd be looking like some of the words I'd be seeing when I go get pho. So this big back piece is really elaborate. The guy's lacking some detail, but I like the story. It says dad, a couple of dates on there. We got a yin yang, classic, original. Never seen that one before. <laughs> they're probably like 40 plus, because they're putting it like on their elbow, because they don't want anything like past the sleeves, you know? Old people be getting those tattoos. Okay, another language, I have no idea what it could be, because I don't want to assume, but it's on the chin. Might be someone that is maybe Islander or Asian, because I know that that is a pretty traditional area to go to. Oh, I actually kind of like this one. Tell me the type of person you think has one. I think it's either a lesbian or a guy that really likes women. The type of tattoo looks really delicate. I would assume a pretty dainty, feminine, confident woman. Eyeballs on the chest. I pray that these eyeballs are on the nipples because that'd be way funnier than just on the chest. This one looks like a toy house or something. I really don't see how it would look good in your chest. It doesn't look like the best tattoo. It looks like really shaky lines. I'm gonna guess someone alternative on this, maybe heavily tattooed already. This is a white person house. Ain't no ethnic person is like lighting the chimney in their own house. You ready to meet your line? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, let's bring them in. Hi guys. Hello. Hi. This one was fun. Kind of a thick tiger was what I was calling it. I want to say you. You look like a thick tiger. <laughs> Baggy pants. Hello. Nice to meet you. I'm Nick. Nice to meet you. I'm Sam. Sam? Yes. This is like more of a hippie tattoo because it's a chubby tiger. And you have like a Trader Joe's like you eat granola kind of vibe. So this one I picked for you just because it does look like it's been on there a while. I see that there's a scar in there. And this kind of style, I kind of said that this looks like a Mike Tyson tattoo. I give the Mike Tyson vibe. Like you're of that era, right? Oh, sure. Yeah. Okay. Yes. <laughs> That's not a bad thing. Oh, she means old. I didn't mean old. <laughs> I feel like you might like uh, cats and tigers, and I don't know, a fat tiger can be cute. This one's not as cute, but I mean, you know, <laughs> it could, could be your vibe. I think Sam has the chubby uh, tiger. Tiger looks like it's been through it too, and you. You seem like you have knowledge. Mm, okay. <laughs> I've been through it. <laughs> All right. Wow. I'm gonna go with that. Congrats. Hey, okay, thank you. <laughs> Big tiger. <laughs> I feel like the flower belongs to you. Half blue head. <laughs> I'm ready for you. <laughs> it has some um, lettering on top. It's like another language, and I feel like you definitely speak another language. What kind of language do you think it is? I think it's like. Hebrew or something? <laughs> that is my best guess. I picked the flower that has like the things that look like Vietnamese to me on there. You're the closest one to Vietnamese in that lineup right now. <laughs> Are you Vietnamese? Yes, I am. What can I say? You don't even know if that's Vietnamese yet. No, no, I'm confident now. I'm thinking about it. I've seen this on the menu somewhere. <laughs> the lady covering her breast. It's gonna be your tattoo. Can you come up? <laughs> Your vibe is just so sweet and soft and you look very feminine and dainty. I'm gonna guess this one's yours as maybe like an expression of that exactly. 
you give me the vibe that you would get a naked lady on your body. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I like naked women. Uh, yeah, there you go. Solidifies my answer. I would like to do the elbow tattoo, the yin yang. That spot's not easy, so that one's gonna hurt. Uh, sir, this guy looks like the older version of me right now, but white. Oh. Nice to meet you. I'm you Nick. Too. Nick, Kelly. Kelly? Yeah. Nice to meet you. I wanna say you. you wanna come up? You look pretty tough. I think you could handle the pain. You'd be the friend that I would want defending me for sure. I see you've got lots of piercings, long hair, cool pants. So I feel like this fits the vibe. I feel like you have the yin yang tattoo. Why? Aesthetically wise, it's like the black and white. It might match. I think this is more of an older person tattoo. Mm -hmm. Why would I get it on my elbow? I already know, you got you got money stacked up because you're a businessman or something and you can't go past the wrist. Yeah. So the next tattoo, it's a chin tattoo. Okay, chin's down. <laughs> oh my god. The chin tattoo is gonna be yours. I wanna say you. I mean, okay. Yeah. He, he has Islander vibes? Yeah, he's got that like darker, kind of caramely complexion. I feel like most Islanders do have that really nice skin color. I'm uh, both black and Korean. Oh, so totally not even where I was thinking, but this does look like those kind of characters. Oh, hey, now I'm doubting myself a little bit. Do you think I'm something else? I think so, because looking at your aesthetic, I feel like you would not get this. I think the gentleman in the second has a chin tattoo, and she has a yin yang. All right, let's call this gentleman up. This, if I'm not mistaken, is from uh, an Asian language, so I feel like this would fit. Mm -hmm. I noticed you gave me both the like yin yang. No, but I mean, you know. <laughs> You know, that was totally coincidental. I, I am Asian though, so. <laughs> I'm gonna go with this one, just given, again, that language that I don't know. I know him. This is Khalil. We were on a former episode of The Button together. In the back, we were chatting about tattoos because that's the only thing I got going for me. <laughs> and he told me his one tattoo is this one on the chin in Korean. And you may not know, he's Korean. Yeah. So you know you got one right. Yeah. I know I got one right. I see it right here. <laughs> the next one, an angel holding a cross. I feel like this is a very meaningful tattoo. It has to be somebody's dad. Do you want to come up? Sure. Yeah? You're covering your back really well right now mm -hmm. and the shape. And I can tell whoever has this tattoo has like a really nice back. She's hiding something from me and she's hiding that giant back tattoo right now. I feel like it might be in the age range of your dad or grandfather. This is your tattoo. I'm looking at the eyeball chest tattoo next. Yeah. The one that I was hoping was on the nipples, because that would be funnier. But the guy that speaks out to me that has his tattoo is a uh, Kirkman hot dog shirt man. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Renard. Renard? Yeah. That's a cool name. Thank you, it means uh, fox in French. Oh, fo fox eyes. These are fox eyes, and he's got them on his chest. You have very colorful hair. Yes. Very colorful tattoo. Mm -hmm. I see you've got lots of piercings. Yeah. Do you have any more on your ears or anything? Yeah, ears, nipples, the whole lot. Oh, you're yeah. heavily pierced. Yeah, the whole lot. Can we reveal the... Uh... What are you hiding? <laughs> My instinct is like, I wanna, I wanna just like, no, I'm, I won't. <laughs> the colors, your vibes. Not afraid to hide it. I think these eyes may be on your chest. Okay, thank you. The last tattoo is a chest, and it's like a little house. It gives me vintage vibes. Something more OG. For the I'm, OG in the room? Who could that be? <laughs> <laughs> this one definitely goes to the gentleman. Yeah. I said that I thought it would be someone pretty alternative. You've got a really cute vibe to oh, you. you. This looks like a dollhouse is kind of what I was assuming it was. Before you came in, I said whoever the skinniest, tallest guy has this house on their chest. What else did you say about this person? <laughs> this is a white person house. Ain't no ethnic person is like lighting the chimney in their own house. <laughs> well, I think you might not be white, but you could be white passing. Yeah. What but do you think the mean is for the tattoo? You have a home somewhere. It may not be here, but <laughs> it's on you. I feel like it has a little mat with a little heart. So I think family means a lot to you and you have it in your chest. You're probably the the one that has kids and offsprings, mm. and maybe grandkids, I don't know. It could be, it you could know? It could be. Thank you. With a show of hands, who did Nick guess correctly? Oh. Okay, 
I can't sleep at night. Okay. Oh, that was it? <laughs> <laughs> so they're gonna come forward one at a time and you can learn from your mistakes. Okay. Mine, I blew it. Was this one? Oh, that yeah, fits it's, you. Yeah, it's in my mom's handwriting. My parents hate tattoos, but my mom likes to show this one off to everybody. She's Aww. like, look at my daughter's tattoo, look at my handwriting. And what does it say? It says my daughter in Vietnamese. Oh, very yeah, nice. It's for my mom. Okay, it's yeah. It's not yeah. a food menu item, but I, I was thinking it was spring rolls. It was <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking that. I like it. Thank you. Uh, I, the only tattoo with meaning on me is for my mom, so I oh, like really? that you have mom, a mom with a meaning tattoo. What is your tattoo? I have a, this yin-yang of rabbits. Me and her are born in the year of the rabbit. How do you feel about tattoos? You know, I feel like, like they're a little bit overhyped. Like, I feel like a lot of people don't really put meaning and they just get it to get tattoos. Um, so unlike you, myself. you have a... Oh no, the rest, I have a lot of tattoos and literally only two have meaning. Oh, So. yeah. <laughs> Thank you for helping my case. <laughs> so mine was... Ooh. The chunky tiger. <gasps> you have the thick tiger. <laughs> I knew I liked this guy. Yeah. I knew I liked this <laughs> yeah. guy. Why is it fat? Uh, I saw a meme okay. where it was like, unleash the tiger in you, and oh. the tiger in me was just like this large tiger. I just thought it was hilarious and oh. cute, so yeah. it reminds me of my cats. Respect. Yeah. Even if they're fat cats, respect. Yeah. <laughs> Do we know each other? Yeah, I think, yeah, so I, I buy wheat from her. I'm like... Yeah, at, at the dispensary, I'm like, at the dispensary hey, though, at the dispensary second. though. You got me right. Yes. Awesome. Lift up your head now. Oh, damn. Oh, okay. whoa. Mm -hmm. It's love and joy in Korean. My mom and my grandma are like super traditional, so they were kind of against it at first, but they kind of like the placement and the meaning I think behind it's it. sick. Oh. Okay, I'll probably see you later. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so what is your tattoo? Um, I have the naked lady. The naked lady, yeah. my I favorite tattoo. You, Oh, nice. At first I said, it might be a lesbian or a guy that really likes women. I was wrong. Maybe you're just a girl that likes girl power. I'm definitely like extremely gay. So oh, I'm yes. So I was right. How long ago did you get that? I got it like a couple months ago. Oh, wow. Um, the artist lives in Madrid. And so I was living out in Ibiza and I just went and- That's so cool. Finally could get something from him. Hello. Hi again, Sam. So you got me wrong, and I have the eyes. Yo, okay, no, they're nice. <laughs> Was there ever a debate to get them closer towards the nipples? <laughs> Was there ever a thought to get them a no, little closer? No. What's the significance of that? For so you? these are my childhood cat's eyes. Um, what? I've had him since I was three months old. He died about two years ago. When he would like lie on me, he would always put his paws in that location, and so I got his eyes there. That's such a good like, reason story. Yeah. Hello. You guessed the flower with the writing on me? I did. But I actually have the back tattoo. Oh, I see, I see. Can I see the whole thing? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> okay, this is way bigger than I thought. Beautiful. I love that for you. Thank you. Um, rest in peace to your dad. Oh, uh, it's actually to my grandpa. To we called grandpa. him dad because he didn't like to be called. See, that year was throwing me off, but that does make sense. That was a good tattoo. Thank nice you. and big. I think people should go bigger than smaller. Enough of this tiny tattoo stuff. Jake. Hi. Jake. Jake. Uh, buddy. I guess you. You yes. did. You nailed it. The I OG. did. It's right here. He's showing me a chest tattoo now. Wow. Um, you have a chest tattoo? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta give it. You gotta Enjoy. give it. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's huge. Oh, yeah. Yeah. With the meaning that I gave, was I kind of close okay, to the meaning? You were thing? entirely off. I love my family, so you were spot on with that. The house represents an openness to all things that come to us. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I thought you had the massive back tattoo. I've already been proven wrong. <laughs> I have the yin and yang. Okay. On my elbow. Can I ask why you didn't get it like directly on the elbow? It's a mole cover up. There's a mole right there. Oh, okay. I didn't notice that it was a mole. Oh, okay. That, that makes more sense. Basically, I was insecure when I was younger and I used to always wear long sleeves, and so I was like, I'm gonna get a tattoo when I get older, so I don't have to like, you know. Oh, I can feel I more see. confident. And now I feel more confident now in like wearing short sleeves and stuff. Yeah, it makes you look badass. I thought tough cookie. <laughs> Nick wants to be a tattoo artist. That's his dream. Would anybody let Nick put a tattoo on him? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Okay. 
I see Olive's not raising her hand though. <laughs> Hi, my name is Randy. I'm one of the producers here at Cut. This game has over 400 questions. How much do you truly want to know? And how much do you dare to reveal? I just read the back of the box. Honestly, I'm not that creative with my lines. 